I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. If you haven't gotten your Green Book yet, look for a link in the video description below. You're going to need that because it has all the hands in it. For this exercise that I call random pulls, we're going to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls and we'll alternate between East and Non-East. We're going to randomly select these cards to determine which player we are and who is the prevailing wind, because that might make a difference with our random pulls. We're going to be south, and west is prevailing, so we'll get 13 times. We have north and west, 2-3 in BAMs with a 9, 2-6-9 in DOTS, 5-6-7-9 in CRACKS with a pair of 9s. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play either one suit in honors or a hand of honors. Look at the nines. So I would probably pass those three. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull one in the comment section below and what you would do. We're going to the east. South is We have west, red and green dragon. One, two, three in dots. Two, three in cracks with a nine. Two, three, five, eight in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would play Chop Suey. We would need news, so we're a little light with wins, but we have one, two, three, two, three, two, three. I probably would let those go. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could play, depending on what comes in, double numbers or tri numbers. We have all the threes and the twos. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below with what you would focus on. West. North. We have north, south, red, two, five, two, four, five, six, eight in cracks, two, four, six in bams, three, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? When I first saw this 
deal, I was thinking one suit and honors. But the other thing I was thinking is maybe little 2468 or big 2468, which is a mixed suit hand. Big 2468 uses owner prevailing wind. We are west and north is prevailing. So we could actually use that right there. Big 2468, 2468 in two suits with pungs of different numbers. Owner prevailing wind paired. So maybe what we could do is pass those three and see what comes in. Because we have one, two, three, four more tiles than just playing, well, really two more tiles than playing one suit in honors. So that can go no matter what. So I think we could pick up a crack elsewhere if we decide to go back. So I would let that go. Same thing about the dragon. And we could focus on wins, maybe try to play something with cracks and news, like news lineup. I think that's what I would do here. Try for either one of the two, four, six, eight hands in mixed suits or one suit and honors, depending on how it would come through in the Charleston. If you would do something differently here, write pull three in the comment section below and what you would do with these tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them in whatever order is comfortable for you. I recommend wins, dragons, and then the numbered suits in numerical order. That way you can get the lay of the land. Then identify the strength of the hand, gather tiles to support the strength, and play a category that uses most of your tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.